I'm very proud to announce the release of the bulk card extension for LM Bits. That means that we can now mint and create and manage uh, one of these NFC LNURL withdraw tap and pay cards, which gives the merchant a unique payment link every time. So the merchant can only use it once. Um, and then you can manage your funds and uh, how many taps you want to allow each day. Um, and uh, you can disable and enable these cards directly from this LM Bits extension attached to uh, your LM Bits wallet. Um, this is thanks to the great work of Gene Takovic and also Lee Salomon as well. So thanks to those two great contributors for putting this PR in. Um, but it's a really exciting extension and I'm very happy to get it merged and I'm sure we'll make a lot of use out of it. First create an LM Bits wallet and put some funds in it to spend. Then we're going to go to export to phone with QR code because currently we need two devices to set the uh, bulk card extension up. Open up the wallet. Now we have the wallet on the phone as well as on the browser. Click on these three lines, go to manage extensions and then go to uh, bulk card and enable that extension. Open up the extension, create a new bulk card, connect it to the wallet we uh, made. Max transaction, I'm going to say max transaction of 2,000 sats. Daily limit of 20,000 sats. This is for me buying coffee, so I'm going to call it coffee. And then card UID. Each one of these NFC cards has a unique ID, which is used to do some crypto stuff. So we click on this little button here, tap it, and now we have that unique ID. If you want, you can go to show advanced options. And then here you can fill about with keys, generate new keys. We're going to leave them as they are. Click create card. Now click on this little QR code and here you have a base URL LN URL. We're going to be able to copy that now and then you're going to want to open up the um, bulk card NFC app by Coin Corner. You can get it from Play Store. In there, if you go to write NFC, you can paste that string which you just copied into there. Now we can take our NFC card Tap it, it'll say success. We can then go to key management. Now, sadly, we haven't got a paste um, keys. If we did, we wouldn't have to use another device. So for now, we have to use this other device. So in our other device, we go to our manage extensions because it's the same wallet. Click on open. Here we can see we have our card. Click on the little QR code symbol and then scan it. Now we have the keys, okay? Tap the card on the back. Keys successfully changed. There we are. If we open up a wallet such as Breeze, it's important to know that all this stuff is pretty cutting edge. So a couple of the Lightning wallets have to catch up with some of the LNURL crypto stuff on the back end. Um, now if we tap Breeze with the card we just made, it says, here we go, we can spend up to 2,000, that's right. I'm gonna say I wanna withdraw 1,500 for the coffee I'm buying. Click on redeem. And then the funds should go from this wallet into my Breeze wallet. Let's see. There we go, payment received, very nice. And if we refresh our wallet here, we should see that, yep, we got a hit. Um, and it even gives me the IP address so you can keep an eye on where your card's being used and also the user agent there. And we can see if we go to our wallet, which is connected to, this card is connected to, we'll see that we have a uh, 1,500 sat withdraw. Um, and then it was from the bulk card and there's even a tag for bulk card. Um, and actually, in the withdraw, on the merchant side, you're also giving them an LNURL pay. So should they ever have to give you a refund, they can give you that. use that to give you a refund. And that's it. Now I can take this card and use it for tap and pay to pay for my beers, my coffees, whatever else, using the Lightning Network. Very exciting technology. Great that we can now compete, out-compete with uh, the payment legacy payment system, which a lot of people are used to. Um, and also the ability just to be able to play around with these things and create them yourself adds a lot of value to it. I'd like to see people, because you get these NFC chips, which are very small, so it'd be very interesting to see what people could embed those into in order to make payments. 
uh, maybe like an old uh, Casio watch or something. So you could turn a, uh, an old digital cheap watch into uh, a smart watch and make payments for your coffee. Uh, that could be quite cool to play with. So um, I'll leave it to you. Hopefully people come up with some interesting things. Enjoy the extension and thanks.